loving you, Nascam. Smith your bags. Jay, every time, why am I money? Hello, baby, have you sent it? You don't even know what you do to me. Your fight, all your shop, I'm good. I mean, yeah. All I'm gonna get you is karma. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenora T, as you already know. Today we're doing a makeup tutorial and what we're not going to do is explain my foundation routine because I feel like every video I tell you guys my foundation routine and it's basically the same thing. Maybe sometimes the products change, but I'm gonna leave that down in the description bar. And for now, just watch. It might be repetitive because it's what I do all the time, but I will tell you guys more about my eyeshadow when we get there. Okay. However, I wasn't going to stay quiet on this part. If you haven't noticed, something has changed in my routine. I'm using a brush to blend out my concealer instead of a beauty sponge. I've fallen in love with blending with a sponge. Even though I use a beauty blender when I'm hurrying and I'm trying to get somewhere really fast, I use a beauty blender but I love the effects of a brush. It's slower but the, the results are perfect and you should try it out. Just try it out and tell me what you think. Shadow, we're going to use the NYX Ultimate Palette. It is very colorful. I like that about it. And I'm, I'm starting to get out of my comfort zone with colors, okay? So I started with this orange um, transition shade just to give my eye a little bit of warmth. I'm, I really don't understand all these terms, transition, crease, warmth, depth. I don't know, but I'm, I hope it makes sense. And here I'm just saying that I like to hold my brush at the very end because it gives that really soft look and it helps you blend better. And now going into my Juvia's Place palette, I'm using this um, pink shade to create more depth <laughs> in my crease, in my, in my, yeah, in my crease. And I'm just going on top of that orange shade and blending it out. And as you can see, I'm holding my brush at the very tip. You don't want to hold it too close because it's not going to blend easily. It's just a tip. It's just what I do. Okay. So now I'm going into this dark purple shade. You can use black if you want, but I prefer purple because I really wanted my eye to be colorful. And that dark purple really helps your eye to give it... A little bit of <laughs> yo this this terms I don't know man I don't know but now I'm going into this really bright pink shade it doesn't look as good as it looks in the palette but I like to wet my brush first with my Mario Badescu spray and this really helps the shade to pop even more this shade is so beautiful the first time I applied it I was like oh my god I had ignored it in my palette for so long but as soon as I used it, I was like, what? However, now I'm going back into my um, 
my crease and I'm blending it out that's the same brush I used with the purple no sorry with the orange and the pink and I'm um, I'm adding the purple shade because it, it kind of disappeared when I applied the pink shade and then I'm going back and just making it brighter you can put as many layers as you want you can make it as bright as you want and then towards the end I'm gonna use this fluffy brush and just blend everything together because you don't want any demarcation and now I'm going to do my eyeliner pop some lashes and we're done with my no we're not done we still have to do the under um the under of the eye <laughs> so yeah I have an eyeliner and lashes video actually so you can go ahead and watch that I'm gonna put the link right up there the top right and we can walk in the I'll see you guys later So next, I'm going to help my eyes look more awake because I have really small eyes, especially after I put lashes. I'm using this NYX concealer pencil. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm going to link it down below. I'm applying this to my lower waterline and then going in with the same colors that I used on my top lid. I'm going to apply it on my bottom lid basically and I don't use mascara anymore because it gets really messy especially on my bottom lashes i use it on the top lashes but not on my bottom lashes and this brings us to the end of this video i hope you loved it bye